Alright, in this method, we're going to look at the rectangular hyperbola. Now, what is so unique about the rectangular hyperbola is that um, it is a little bit different um, from the normal hyperbola in the sense that the asymptotes are perpendicular to each other. So, what kind of expression will give us you know, the rectangular hyperbola? So, how do we actually recognize it? So, we look at the general formula of the rectangular hyperbola, which will have this kind of expression y equals to ax plus b divided by cx plus d. Now, what do you notice about this expression? Uh, if you look at the numerator, right, it's a linear expression. The denominator is also a linear expression. Now, once you have a linear over a linear, all right, you will have a rectangular hyperbola. Okay. Now, in this method, our example, we have uh, this particular expression here. Y equals to x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay. Now, um, before we start drawing our rectangular, rectangular hyperbola, sorry, we need to know what are the available asymptotes. Okay. Now, for rectangular hyperbola, there are only two asymptotes, one vertical and one horizontal. How do we actually get uh, all these asymptotes? Now, it is uh, very easy to get the vertical asymptote. You can actually look at the vertical asymptote from the denominator expression. Right? So, if you let the denominator expression equals to 0, you will actually have x is equals to negative half. This will actually give you the vertical asymptote. Right? So, vertical asymptote is obtained from the denominator. Now, how about the vertical asymptote? Now, the vertical asymptote uh, is obtained all right, by doing some juggling to the expression in the numerator. All right. Now, uh, from this expression here, y equals to x minus 1 over 2x plus 1. As we have learned before, I think in partial fraction, uh, by juggling, we can actually uh, do something to this uh, particular expression. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, so, I put a half. I will have 2x minus 2 in the numerator divided by 2x plus 1. Right? So I will have 2x plus 1. I purposely have a 2x plus 1 uh, in the numerator. So it is uh, even now, even now with the 1 in the denominator. But in order for me to balance, I need to minus 3. Alright? Now you can either do the juggling method or do the long division method. Okay, so from here I will have half times uh, 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 you have 1 so in the end you have 3 divided by 2x plus 1 so this is the juggling method if you don't like this method you can do um, long division okay so in the end your function will become half minus 3 over 2 times 2x plus 1 okay so just now we already seen that uh, this part here will give you the vertical asymptote While this part here will now give you the horizontal asymptote where the equation of this asymptote is given by y equals to half. Okay, so this is a vertical, so this is the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so for the vertical asymptote, just as we discussed, uh, the equation is given as x equals to negative half. Right. So once we have already established the horizontal asymptote and the vertical asymptote, it is now time to actually draw the rectangular hyperbola. Now bear in mind that rectangular hyperbola, well, it is very easy for us to know uh, if let's say we notice that it is of this form, right? The rectangular hyperbola will either look like this type or maybe if the asymptotes are a bit off, okay, so you will have this type. Okay, so you either have uh, something which is uh, the one at the top or something the one at the bottom. So for for us to know exactly which one, okay, we need to draw the asymptotes and then we'll look at the intercept with the x-axis and y-axis perhaps, and then from there we can proceed. So let's draw now. Okay, so from the previous page, our point, our expression is given by this, and after doing the juggling method, or uh, if you insist on doing the long division method, you have uh, this expression. Okay. So we have already established that the 
vertical asymptote is at x is equal to negative half. So this is negative half. So we draw the asymptote. Make sure you label the asymptote properly. Uh, after which we need to draw the horizontal asymptote. For this case, we have established that it is y equals to half. So we draw. So this must be half. Alright, uh, don't forget to label x equals to negative half, y equals to half. Alright, so once you have established the two asymptotes, uh, now we need to know how to draw the two graphs. Alright, as you all remember, I've already said that the graph rather looks something like this or like this, right? Okay, so we need to determine the intercept with the x axis. So the intercept with the x axis is very easily obtained. Uh, with the x axis, we just let y equals to 0. With the y axis, you just let x equals to 0. So, when x is equals to 0, your y will be equals to, according to the expression, your y will be equals to negative 1. Right? And when your y is equals to 0, your x value is actually equals to 1. Okay? So, the points that we are talking about will be, uh, when x equals to 0, your y is negative 1. So maybe here, right? So this is negative one. When your x is zero, your y is negative one. When y your is zero, your x is equals to one. Okay. So one here. Right. So we know that the graph is going to pass through these two points. So very easily we can draw this part of the graph like that. And the other part is of course this way. Right. So that is the completion of the drawing of this rectangular hyperbola. Once you have, uh, the important thing that you need to take note is once we have established this point here and this point here, right, it is very easy for you to determine how the graph looks like.